Matt Walsh. And boy, man, I got to say, my heart goes out to these guys like Matt Walsh, uh, middling commentator on the right, you know, uh, always been middling, always going to be middling. And not much material to work with these days. Gotta just, they're just going to hang their head on uh, their hat on uh, cancel culture. They're just going to ride this out until they call it something different. It was politically incorrect. And now it's or politically correct. And now it's cancel culture. And then in a couple of years, it'll be some other thing. But here's Matt Walsh um, uh, lamenting cancel culture and saying conservatives could never do this. Cancel culture, again, there, there, are, there are certain hallmarks of it. And it is a uniquely, it's a uniquely modern phenomenon and it's uniquely leftist. There may have been, you go through history, there have been ver- the Salem witch trials. There have been versions of, uh, of if you want to call it cancel culture. But in, our, in what we're referring to, in modern society, and as I've said many times, it's very cl- it's very important to clarify: cancel culture is a leftist phenomenon. Pause it one second. Have you now? Or have you ever been a member of the Communist Party and blacklisting? Modern era, you'll notice that the people had phones at that time, and they were wearing suits. They weren't wearing, you know, uh, 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 pilgrims' hats, or uh, there wasn't the Salem witch trial. Modern culture. Dixie were, Chicks, yeah. Uh, Bill Maher. Uh, I mean, I, I could go on and on and on, but let's go back to here, Matt the Walsh. Boycotting, the law that would Republicans are, you know, tried to put in place that would essentially criminalize boycotting Israel. <laughs> it's it, BDS. It's in half, of, you know, half the states in the country, I think, have that law. But let's go back to uh, to Matt Walsh's sense of history. want to call cancel culture but in our in what we're referring to in modern society and as i've said many times it's very it's very important to clarify cancel culture is a leftist phenomenon because it's all about institutional power and they have the power to because they control the institutions they can control your destroy your career destroy your reputation expel you from civilized society They have the power to do that. Conservatives, even if they wanted to do it, can't do it. So conservatives, even if they wanted to have their own cancel culture, don't have it. Because they don't have the power. We don't have the power. Leftists do. And we also know another really important part of cancel culture is that it is performative and fraudulent. And you're destroying people... um, who either didn't do anything wrong, or even if they did do something wrong, the response to that infraction is way out of proportion. And the canceling is being spearheaded by people who are not really affected by it. You know, I'm old enough to remember when CPAC canceled uh, Young Pharaoh's appearance (laughs) uh, merely over some opinions and asking questions you know, at their special CPAC dedicated to, you know, cancel culture. So I don't know. It wasn't until literally six months ago that the Supreme Court said you can't be fired for being gay. You can still be denied housing if you're gay, but apparently conservatives don't have any institutions that they hold that they can, uh, that they can um, cancel somebody. Like you cannot be fired for being Christian, but you can be fired for being, um, uh, or I should say, you cannot be denied housing uh, because you're Christian. You can be uh, denied housing because you're gay. I think that cancel culture specifically applies to like only the professional or semi-professional media class though. So when they, you know, they consider people outside of that class, they only count as like 1.25 cancels. But the moment you start a podcast or like web show, then, you know, someone calls you a duty head online, suddenly your free speech rights are being violated. So well, pe- you know, people don't realize that the, the founding fathers were mostly concerned about podcast hosts being critiqued on Twitter. That's the number one threat to our democracy. Uh, tell I mean, it to Gary Webb uh, that you can't be canceled um, when you uh, when you're a reporter. 
I mean, it feels like a brand thing. I mean, I don't begrudge people like their little brand uh, eccentricities, but you know, once you have, once you see like the 15th comedy special called like canceled on Netflix, which I still will not watch. And, you know, you just kind of got to let it go. You know, at a certain point, it's like, it's just for your own, think of your own brand, do something about the Glenn Beck, Ben Shapiro ripoff backdrop, you know, do something about the talking points, like make something exciting. I keep saying it, but like, maybe they should get into some more fringe conspiracies. QAnon is being played out, cancel culture is on the way out, you know, the IDW is over, you know, there are a lot of like new avenues that are going left unexploited. Well, I mean, they're going to have to get into this 5G conspiracy. I think, uh, what was that? Chuck Schumer or some other Democrats are trying to build up 5G infrastructure throughout the country. That's uh, that's going to tap into that. Tap into that. That's going to control uh, Megan McCain's iPod between her shoulders. It's going to it's going to block our prayers. It's going to block our prayers. That's what 5G does. See, boom, right there. That's that Fox and Friends' new talking point. You know, I just think that like Trump, the four years of Trump didn't do much for comedy because you know, it was just a very very lush ecosystem for content. There was, there was always a day going by where he was saying something to make fun of or to defend. And now that he's gone off Twitter and, you know, kind of out of social media uh, sphere altogether, people are just left bereft of content. They got to start making it up. They're going back to all their old tricks. And it's just, you know, it's a little played out. 